SP Calcs. My name is Rick and today we will be looking at the stats mode on the Sharp EL510 RN calculator. This mode will allow us to find the mean, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, sum of samples, and sum of squares of samples. Alright, to start we need to enter the stats mode. To do this we will hit the second function mode key. This brings up the mode menu. We can choose either mode 0 or mode 1. Stats mode is mode 1. So we press 1. You can now see at the top of the screen the word stat indicating we have entered stats mode. Now before we run any calculations let's clear any previous data to ensure we're starting off fresh. To do this, we press second function, delete to clear any unused data. Okay, now let's enter our data set. Let's say our data set consists of the measurements 10, 20, 20, and 30. We could say this is a measurement in meters of a specific distance. We can begin by typing out our first measurement, 10, then pressing the M plus key to add it to our list of measurements. You can see N equals 1 on the screen. This tells us we have a total of one measurement in our data set. Let's enter the next measurement, 30. M plus. We now see we have two measurements in the data set. All right, let's do our next set of measurements, 20. But notice that we have two identical 20s in our data set. If we have multiple of the same number in our data set, we can enter them all at the same time by pressing the number, then hitting store. We can see we have two 20s, so if we hit 20, store, we now see a comma behind our measurement. This is asking how many copies of this number do we want to use. Since we have two measurements, we'll press 2 and then hit the M plus key. We now see we have a total of four measurements in our data set. Okay, now if we wanted to find the mean of this data set, we would press second function and the RCL key to activate alpha mode. Then the left bracket with the X bar on top, which represents mean. We now see the X bar appear on the screen. Press the equals key and we get the number 20, which is the mean of, or average of our data set. Now, if we wanted to see our sample standard deviation, we would press second function, RCL, and then the multiplication key with the SX over top. We then see the SX or sample standard deviation symbol appear on our screen. And if we press equals, we get 8.1649 which is the correct sample standard deviation for this data set. Okay, now let's find the population standard deviation. To do this, we press the second function key, followed by the RCL key, and then divide, which has the small sigma x above it. We will now see a sigma x on our screen, and if we press equals, we get 7.071, etc., which is the population standard deviation. If we want to find the sum of samples, we can press the second function key, 
followed by the RCL key. And then the plus key with the large sigma x above it. We now see large sigma x on the screen. If we hit equals, we get 80, which is the sum of all of our measurements in the data set. Finally, if we want to find the sum of squares of our data set, we would hit second function, followed by the RCL key, and then the minus key. We then see a large sigma x squared on the screen. If we hit equals, we get 1,800, which is correct. Okay, that's stats mode on the Sharp EL510RN calculator. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.